Yeah. It's been an interesting week because uh, I, I, it's one thing to academically sit on the sidelines and, and say, ah, this is what they're doing. They're throwing everything out there to see, as Peggy notices, on both sides to see what sticks. Yeah. Um, in, in Missouri, battleground state. Here in Virginia, battleground state. In other states around the country, you've noticed Obama people spending a lot of money running one ad with him talking to camera, yeah. sitting in a place that looks like the White House, saying, this is who I am, this is what changes. What I discovered this week uh, in an uncomfortable way is that when they throw everything in the mix to change the subject, th you, got it, you can get in the way. I yeah. got in the way of yeah. it this week. And I, it was an interesting, I, was, I kind of didn't pay attention to a lot of it, but it was also interesting to realize that if changing the subject from the stakes of the vice presidential debate meant talking about the moderator instead of talking about the candidate, they would do that. If that meant raising questions about anything else that's out there, which is why if we've learned one thing about this campaign is that every week it'll be something else. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, I agree people. we'll be the target of that because coming up Tuesday night, I think we have to explain to our audience, you are in the process of writing a book which will come out in January about the change in American politics, especially among African American leaders in right. what you call the age of Obama. And there were people on the right who said that disqualifies you as a moderator for the vice presidential debate. But what you did was keep your head high and not respond to those attacks. I kind of kept my head low, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, the tr that's the truth. I did not respond to it because um, it didn't take much to figure out what the book was really about. I mean, it didn't take but a couple of mouse clicks to discover that what they were saying about the book wasn't true and that, in fact, I wasn't writing the book they said and I hadn't, <laughs> I could, hadn't even written the Obama chapter yet because I don't know how it ends. So I'd, my, my editors were thinking, really? Have you written it? Good. Give it to us. We'd like to see it. Um, so they used that. And and it wasn't really much worth fighting about. I figured it would be a 24-hour kerfuffle, but it was instructive about how often um, you can get in the way of somebody else's plan.